Sales Crunch. Learn more, earn more. Yeah. How, um, besides the title, yeah. how would you describe a VP of sales at a sub $10 million company Easy. and a VP of sales at a, a large yeah. organization? And in fact, it's almost a test that I now, when I interview VP of sales for a couple of startups, it's very funny. Because you typically find the, and I, and I used to be guilty of this too, you go to a recruiter, they bring you the 1% person who now thinks they really want to be an entrepreneur in a startup, right. and, and blah, 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 and I go, how comfortable are you in chaos? Yeah. Well, what do you mean? I said, well, we just abandoned you on a desert island. You have a loincloth and a knife. Tell me how you're going to survive. And they go, what the heck are you talking? Well, because by the way, it's worse than that here. <laughs> so let me explain to you that you're going to be sitting in the car with the founder, making up the presentation and creating pricing on the fly. Yeah. Are you ready for that? Yeah. And, and hopefully you could flush out the 80% who will be honest with themselves, but it's still very, very hard. If you have, if you're a VP of sales who's been, who's been in a large company and never had to like make up a product on the fly, yeah. or like have customers throw you out, you know, because like they think you're smoking something, you're not ready yet. And it doesn't mean it, 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 this is not a judgment about good or bad. It's just it's not a smaller version of what you were doing at name of big company here. It's just a completely and, and, and our mistake is we call the the, the the thing sales in the big company, and we also call it sales in the large company. It's not the same deal. Uh, and so it's a different skill set, different passion, different interest. If there were one or two characteristics that describe each, what would they be? A VP of sales at a, at a startup and a VP of sales at a big company. What are the key characteristics that make one successful in each? Well, a, a VP of sales in a large company I've seen is spectacular at executing to the revenue plan, yeah. right? Organizing people, managing staff, etc. Um, a, uh, um, a, a VP of sales in a, in a startup is the VP of one, right? Yeah. First of all, it's the title's an oxymoron. Right. If, in right. fact, if you come in thinking your first job is to staff, you've just put the company out of business yeah. because that's not your first job. And, you know, unless you you're joining a company where they said, "Listen, we have found a repeatable model." Yeah. And then I'd say, prove it to me. Let me go out and call on some people to make sure that your model you think is repeatable. But if that's not the case, then your job really is going to be more like MacGyver. You know, like trying to figure out what is the model and, and to work with the founders to do that. Think about it. In an existing company, the sales process is relatively known. Yeah. In a startup, you have to figure out what the sales process is and it's not about your Rolodex. Everything that worked for you for the last 10 or 15 years probably will be useless and, and you'll make it worse by like looking up more names. You have to create this from scratch. Yeah. And if that's not exciting, don't do it. If that really gets you going, really, I really get to do this from like, whoa, am I up to this? Yeah. And, and I, I always thought that was the most exciting thing I could ever do. But I've now found you truly really want to scare off 85% of the incredibly qualified and competent world-class sales execs yeah. um, who think that a startup is like, you know, I'll make a ton of money and what, Yes, but you, you're, you know, the half-life of a VP of sales and a startup in Silicon Valley, 11 and a half months. Yeah. In fact, they walk in, they don't just understand, there's a bullseye on their back. Yeah. Um, and it's not because anybody wants to fire them, it's because they focus on the wrong thing. Yeah. What percent um, of startup VPs of sales end up doing well as the company gets bigger and vice versa? Is it, you said 75% you want to get rid of as candidates, but like, you know, so percent? it depends at the face. Yeah. So, so remember, startups uh, just don't become large companies. I, I kind of um, break up the life cycle of a company into the startup phase. And that's where you're searching for this business model. In fact, for a sales VP, you should be think, thinking that you're searching for a repeatable sales model. Yeah. You know, who do I call on, when, what material do I show them, how does it work, you know, what demand creation do I need? And until you got that nailed, you're still in search. Then the next step, and you should decide if that's you as the VP of sales, is building an organization. Yeah. So now we found something that's scale. Can I build it from a million dollars to, you know, from one to 10 to 20? That's a whole nother skill set of skill sets. I'd say most VPs of sales could probably get to that level. Yeah. The next question is, are you an operating exec to take it to a hundred million dollars? Yeah. 
And you know, like most early stage people, people who are wonderful at the search and build phase yeah. are not necessarily the world's best people to take it to that level. It took me six of my eight startups to realize that that for me wasn't the prize, it was actually the booby prize. I actually was spectacular at searching and building and I hated the personnel management stuff yeah. of, gee, I gotta manage the six guys in, you know, on the East Coast and they're got Hey, I was much happier when I was out there trying to figure out how to bring in the big deals myself and figure out what the mo underlying model was. Yeah. And, and to remember, you know, it's a and, and I'll just say this and I don't mean to be sexist, but it's a guy thing about how many people you have underneath you yes. is, is is like some testament to your ego and, and and some other part of your body. What I realized later in life, no it's not. What I wanted to go for is, how much of the company do I own? Yes. Oh! And, and, and if not, how much do I own? How much was I compensated for finding the model and getting it to this point? Yeah. And part my ego about the number of people, because you know what, I actually hated that, but I thought that that's what I was supposed to be liking. Yeah, like managing, managing like, um uh, grading a startup on how much money it's raised, right. basically, right? You know, yeah, it looks good, but at the end of the day, you don't get to take it home unless you're going to Brazil. Sales Crunch. Learn more, earn more.